I've just released an update version of the Balance DCTL, and here's a quick overview of its key features. First, you'll place the Balance DCTL after your color space transform, meaning right after converting your footage from Log to Rec 709. I will switch to split screen mode to highlight the main features. First, the skin tone indicator. With this checkbox activated, you won't need the color picker or scopes to verify skin tones. The indicator shows areas that match the skin tone line by turning them yellow. If there's any shift towards green or magenta, it's easy to spot through false color. Next, the exposure heat map. This uses false colors to show exposure levels. Overexposed areas appear yellow or red, underexposed areas shows as green or blue. It uses mid-gray as a reference point for balanced exposure. Gray means ideal exposure. For lighter skin tones, yellow usually shows correct exposure. For darker skin tones, green is typically the right guide. Just note, these guidelines work best in daylight or well-lit scenes. Now the saturation heat map. This one doesn't have fixed rules for skin tones. It depends more on your intended style. It's a good idea to use references like stills from Hollywood films. When saturation increases, the heat map shifts to yellow and red. When you reduce saturation, it moves to green and blue. The latest update adds a new feature, the split four-way view. This lets you see everything at once. Top right, skin tone indicator. Bottom left, exposure heat map. Bottom right, saturation heat map. This combined view means you don't need to switch overlays anymore. It helps speed up your grading. Once you finish grading your hero shot, the four-way view makes it easy to check the next shots and quickly see if you need to adjust skin tones, exposure or saturation. There's also an option to gray out non-skin areas, so you can focus on only the face and the skin tones. For more details, check out the website and download the free demo. If you have any questions, leave a comment or send me an email. Thanks for watching, have a great day and see you next time.